welcome everyone happy 15th of december and welcome to the eighth day of vlogmas i don't know about you guys but i am feeling so festive now only 10 days till christmas and i just can't wait for it to get here today i'm here to talk to you about how to reduce waste at christmas christmas is increasingly becoming an even more commercial time of year and often leads to a lot of extra waste around the house so I'm here to talk to you about ways to reduce that waste and to still keep thinking about the environment even around Christmas. So my first tip would be to use brown paper instead of printed wrapping paper or glittery wrapping paper. Glitter and printed wrapping paper actually can't be recycled. So using brown paper, just like parcel paper, things like that, stuff you get in like your Amazon packages, or actually you can get a really, really big roll of it from Wilco for about £1.50. Using that definitely helps to reduce waste because it can be recycled and that obviously means that less stuff is going to landfill. I would also recommend using string or twine to wrap your presents, um, like with a little bow on top or something like that, just because they could also be reused from year to year. And also it could be really nice to use like natural present toppers, so instead of using those plastic sticky gift bows or things like that, it might be nice to use pine cones or leaves. Or I've also heard of people using dried out orange slices, which are really easy to make yourself at home just in the oven. That can also give a really nice like organic kind of look to your presents as well as being completely kind to the environment. Another tip would be to use washi tape or paper tape instead of sellotape because again this is made of paper so it is recyclable as opposed to plastic sellotape. If you want to go one above using all the recycled and recyclable things, then you could even use reusable wrapping paper. So places like Lush sell knot wraps, which are basically big pieces of like a silky kind of material with a nice pattern on them, which you can use to tie up your present in and then they can be reused again and again and again or even worn as like a scarf or something like that. The ones from Lush could be quite expensive, but I think you could find a lot of similar things in charity shops, and that way you're not creating any waste from wrapping your presents at all. My second tip would be to upcycle or create gifts rather than buying things from stores, because again, buying loads and loads of new things at Christmas doesn't really have a great impact on the environment. So for example, you could make like jars with fairy lights in them, uh, candle holders, things like that. You could also go down an even more crafty route and do some knitting or crochet or embroidery or paper crafts or anything like that and create little gifts for your family and friends. I know people say this a lot but it really is the thought that counts with Christmas presents rather than the money spent so I think a lot of people would really appreciate people taking the time and effort to make a personalised gift just for them. Another idea would be getting experience kinds of gifts so rather than going and buying something from a shop you could get them an experience so things like concert tickets, event tickets, vouchers for a restaurant, anything like that or even just a little token saying like hey I'm going to take you for afternoon tea at some point this year and that also creates a way to make sure you're going to spend some more time with your friend or family member doing something special over the next year and is also something that would likely be really really appreciated as well. Another tip would be to shop local so less packaging and less travel across the country obviously means a smaller impact on the environment so buying from local shops or Christmas markets and things like that would be really great for the environment but also it can lead to you finding a lot of really original and unique gifts as well. I'd also really recommend looking in charity shops for gifts especially places like Oxfam. I literally just went in there today and they've got loads and loads of things there all of which are fair trade and upcycled so they've got like upcycled bookmarks bunting, little card trivia game kind of things which could be fun. They also sell a lot of fair trade chocolate as well so if you're looking to get someone a little edible gift for Christmas then um, they have a lot of things in there like chocolate bars and fudge. Another tip would be to only buy as much food as you need so it's not wasted. A lot of people around Christmas tend to overbuy. That just leads to an increase in food waste which could really easily be avoided. And then also just buying local or low waste where food's concerned as well is a really good idea. So buying things packaging free if you can, like your fruit and veg. And also buying from local shops as well, like farm shops and things like that if they're available to you. So my final little, I guess, tip or like closing thought would be to only buy what you need or what you can afford over Christmas. There is absolutely no obligation to follow the like commercial Christmas hype. That is not what it's about at all. It's much more important to spend time with your family and friends this time of year if you can. So yeah, those are my tips for reducing waste at Christmas. I hope you found it really helpful and that you've enjoyed this video. If you would like to know more about what Student Life have been doing around Christmas, you can follow our social media pages and also come back in a couple of days to check out the next Vlogmas. So I hope you enjoyed this video and that you continue to enjoy the lead up to Christmas and I will see you next time.